Welcome back. It's time for a rave review. Rose Byrne is back for the second season of the Apple TV Plus show Physical. I thought season one was okay. I thought it focused too much on you know the, the side characters, the other stories. All I want to see is this woman building her workout empire in the 1980s because I love the throwback. So I'm hoping in season two that we get to see more of the 80s fashion and the workout craze that started it all. Let's take a look at season two trailer. I am committed to growing my business. You have a following, but I don't have this. Are you marching? Are you breathing? I control my own name. I control my own business. Greta, do you want to go into business with me? I just have one condition. No more secrets? What secrets? She took everything. Then let's take it back. Change is coming. Growth. But so is loss. Pain. Regret. This isn't gonna work, Sheila. This is none of your business. It's actually half my business. What kind of person thinks they can behave in this way? Are you here to work for me or to try to become me? Sheila's rocket ship is about to take off. I'm tired of playing defense. So what's your goal? Reciprocity or retribution? Annihilation. Okay, so guys, I, I do like the show. I like the premise, but it gets it, there are some dark elements. There are some weird elements. I, to me, the whole premise is, you know, she's starting a workout empire in the '80s. I like the the time. I like the nostalgia factor. I like the music. I like the fashion. I want to see her build the empire, and it's hard for a woman to in this time period to build her own business without people stealing her ideas. So I like that aspect. Season two is streaming now on Apple TV Plus. You can check that out, and I'm hoping we get more of the workout and her building in season two. Okay, up next, you know I love design shows. You know I love Melissa McCarthy. Guess what? They've teamed up, her and her cousin have teamed up for a new show on HGTV um, called The Great Give Back. Not only are they remodeling homes, but they're doing it for really worthy recipients. Like these people are awesome that give back in their community or to families, and they're giving them makeovers, and it's awesome. And they're doing it in a really funny way because you can't have Melissa McCarthy in a show about design and still have not it be funny. It's gonna be hilarious. It's so heartwarming. Take a look at the trailer. Hello. Hello. Anybody home? <laughs> if you trust us, it might be time that you guys just do the reasonable thing, which yeah. is give us your house, and you'll see it when we're all done. We're just gonna root through all your personal items. My cousin Jen and I are Midwestern gals and card-carrying vintage fanatics. We have found some remarkable people who just give and give and give of themselves. So we're going to surprise these lovely people and give back to them. Give some iced coffee and like a tape measure yeah. and things will change. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> The smell of sawdust is better than the smell of coffee. Yeah. Definitely. I love it so much. Oh. Oh. They make me want to be a better person. They make me want you to be a better person too. <laughs> It's so cute. I love the show. It's, and by the way, I love their style because it's super, super eclectic and kind of like uh, quirky style that I love, but it, it works. And they, I heard Melissa McCarthy on an interview with her cousin Jenna saying that they were there and the, the execs were actually surprised how hands-on they were and how much they wanted to actually do. They just thought, oh, they'll host it and they'll leave. No, they were like, we're doing this. And they do a lot of it themselves. You can catch The Great Get Back Mondays uh, on HGTV. Okay, moving on quickly, I, I kind of don't want to show the trailer now, but I'm going to talk about it. Uh, Becoming Elizabeth. Okay, this is a show, you know I love to watch The Royal Family. So there's a show on Stars now be called Becoming Elizabeth. Okay, this is about Elizabeth I, not the current Queen Elizabeth II, who's the longest reigning monarch in English, in England. Uh, this is medieval times. It's basically how Elizabeth I became Elizabeth I, because from the trailer, which I don't want to show right now because I want to move on in a minute, but it turns out the king died, her brother, who is younger than her, became king, and then somehow he must have passed on or something because she became queen. It's fascinating to see 
how these traditions and protocol have changed over the years, why they keep them, what has evolved, what hasn't. There's still a lot of stuff that was done back in this time period that um, they're still doing. And I'm like, wow, talk about tradition. How does tradition become a tradition? It's fascinating. It's a little dark in the sense like lighting wise, but it's fascinating to watch. This is on stars on Sundays. Okay, now I wanna move on because I'm so excited. Guess what guys? I was flipping on Hulu like two days ago and I see this farmhouse facelift with my friends Billy and Carolyn. So I'm on Hulu, season two is out. It's already aired in Canada. So I see this and I'm texting Billy and Carolyn going, hey, your show is on in the States now, season two. And Billy was like, wait, it is? They didn't even know. Nobody even told them it was streaming in the US. So Billy's like, send me a picture. So I send him a picture. I'm texting both of them going, oh my gosh, it's on in America. So then they're posting about it on Instagram going, hey, people in the States, Farmhouse Facelift, facelift season two is out. I've watched half of the season so far. Oh my gosh, guys, it is good. The designs are over the top. They uh, really stepped up their game, if you will, on these designs, because they're insane and crazy. On a side note, Billy's amazing, but Carolyn, her, I, I know this is random. The show's amazing, the design is amazing. Her wardrobe this season is amazing. I'm like, is she a supermodel or is this a design show? Because she is absolutely killing it fashion-wise. And of course, the design's amazing. So check out, if you've not watched season one, you can watch season one and season two now on Hulu, Farmhouse Facelift. It's a Canadian show uh, from HGTV Canada. But I'm telling you, I get so much inspiration from watching their show. They're so great. As soon as I get the trailer, uh, Billy sent me a trailer, but it, you can't watch it in the States for some reason. It's blocked in the US. Anyway, I will get that to you. And then finally, I want to talk about this because I made a faux pas last week. This show on Showtime, I love that for you, starring Vanessa Bayer right here in the center. I had said, I love this show. It's set in the world of home shopping. She has a character that had cancer that she's using to her advantage. Vanessa Bayer had cancer as a kid. This is her story. So I apologize. It's a great show. If you're not watching it, watch it on Showtime. It's amazing. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back.